please take note of my mileage, 2559. That'll be important later, I promise. This is Bug, and it's that time of year again. My favorite time of the year. No, it's not. But it is the first day of winter, December 21st, 2023. Now, the first day of winter can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. For some people, it means the beginning of the holiday season, or the middle, or something. Whatever. For some people, it means the snow's coming and we're going to go skiing or sledding or sliding across the driveway on our ass. I don't know. Whatever people do on their ass. Here in Portland, it means the sixth annual Winter Riding Challenge put on by Vespa Portland, our awesome shop down the street. This year, things get a little spicy because Portland will be fighting tooth and nail against our friends from some fishing villages to the north up in the Seattle-Tacoma area. I don't know, I've never been up there. I hear it's lovely in June or something. I don't know. The point of this contest is to rack up as many miles as you can between now, December 21st, and March 20th or something. This poses a few challenges to me because I'm leaving in a couple of days to go away for a week to Boston. Oh, God. And then in March, I have a conference that I help run that's going to be a thing that's going to not let me scoot. I, I will. I'll find a way. Can you, what if they'll let me take the scooter in the convention center? Oh, that'd be cool. We had segways once. That ended in a uh, disaster. Pro tip, um, people don't know how to ride segways, like, naturally. It's, it's an acquired skill that takes longer than an hour to acquire. Ask this guy. I'm gonna do some math real time here for you. And just so we're on the same page here, um, I almost didn't graduate a lot of things because of math. And I'm a computer programmer, so like, you know, this I got a lot going on. So I've had my Vespa since July. It is now December. I've put 2,500 miles plus on the scooter since I had it, so. July, August, September, October, November, let's just say five months I've had it or so. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, so what, 500 miles a month roughly? So let's say I do 500 in January, 500 in February, and a couple maybe today and a little bit in March, but probably not. So my goal is a thousand miles between now and March 20th. Like many things, there's a non-zero chance I'm going to completely fail at that. Winter riding, for me, although I haven't done it yet. I've had motorcycles, and I've gone through winters in New England on motorcycles. And I just put them away in September and forget that I own them until, like, May. It's whatever. But I haven't been through a winter riding season with a two-wheeled vehicle in Portland since I've been here. So this is going to be a new and exciting and wonderful opportunity to fail. Here's why I think I'm going to fail at achieving my goal, is that winter, Google this, sucks. I hate winter. I am not motivated to do anything, not the least of which dress up like a whatever I am, dressed up like, go out into 30 degree weather and freeze my nips off. That doesn't sound fantastic. The weather, although it's a beautiful day today, it's going to start sucking any second now. That cloud over there, it's just looking at me. It's like coming for you, baby. When I first moved to Portland, we didn't really get a whole lot of snow now because of whatever. We get snow all the time in the winter. Last year, they said we were going to have an inch. We had like a foot and it closed the city down for six months. We've got one snowplow in the city that we share with other cities, I think. So when it snows here, the roads don't get back to being roads for days, if not weeks. Two inches of snow in this city is a fucking ghost town. And even with a little bit of snow and ice and stuff, there's no way I'm riding on two wheels to go, what, go get non-alcoholic beer at the non-alcoholic beer store? Is there a non no, I don't think so. Anyway, and then when it's not snowing, I have my directional on again, God damn it. How long did I have my directional on? You didn't, you didn't tell me. I, well, I can't see it because I'm all bogged up again. And then when it's not snowing, it's just gonna rain. Portland, on average, gets six and a half feet of rain a month. It's true. I 
I looked it up. Six and a half feet. Yep. That's why we have so many arc builders here in Portland. You got Noah's arc over here. You got Brad's arc over here. You got Timmy's arc and shovels over here. He does twice the business that most people do. Snow, rain, cold. I'm not really painting a good picture of winter. I just, it's not my favorite thing. I thought I moved away from it when I moved away from Boston. But alas, it has followed me all the way to the Pacific Northwest. But since Portland is competing with the Puget uh, Puget Sound, I don't know, the thing up north with the fishing villages, um, I'm supposed to hate those folks because of sports. Some sort of thing where they, we have a team, they have a team, we kick balls around and we get mad at each other about who scored more or less. But it's soccer, so, you know, no one scores. It's like 0-0. Zero, zero. And everyone's excited. How, how do you get excited about a zero zero? I guess the same way you get excited about basketball when it's like six million to five million and one team who scored six million is better than the one who scored five million. Well, the other one scored five million points. They're pretty good. I don't know anything about basketball or sports really. Anyway, I, I despise those folks and I'll do anything I can to beat them. Probably not. They were actually really nice. I actually really like Seattle and that whole area. Do you know that that's where Fraser Crane is from? Do you know that guy's an actual douchebag in real life? I didn't know that until recently. Seattle's actually the reason we moved to Portland because we visited Seattle and liked it so much. We wanted to go to a nice city. So we went to Portland and we're like, oh yeah, this is, this is nice. They didn't tell us about the rain in our welcome packet. We showed up, the sun was out and we said, this is just been great. And then three days later, uh, monsoon season, which I didn't know they had in the Pacific Northwest, but, but apparently monsoon season starts in October and it never ends. So if you're a bugger or a bugette out there and you want to support the cause, that's actually nothing you could do except maybe come get me out of bed and tell me to go ride my scooter. I'm not raising money or anything like that. I just, I have a competitive streak, you know? And those, those dudes up in that fishing village place up there, I hate them. I don't. I don't really. I've never even met them. I'm sure they're nice. I mean, if they ride scooters, they gotta be decent people, right? I mean, look at me. I've got no felony convictions that you know of. I can go to most states. I'm not on a watch list as far as I know. I'm generally a decent guy. Does that have anything to do with me having a scooter? I, I don't know, probably not. Anyway, the challenge is set. My personal goal is a thousand miles. Halfway through my quest for a thousand miles, I'll have to take the old Vespa GTS in Bianco and Echente into Vespa Portland to have an oil change done because God knows I shouldn't be anywhere near a wrench or oil. Ask my last girlfriend. No idea what that means. If you're in the Portland area and happen to be doing this challenge too, and you wanna and you wanna go put on some miles with me, send me a note in the comments. We could go get tacos. We could go get a pie. I get a friend who sells bread. Oh my God! Look at this traffic. Oh no 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 no. 2564. I'm already doing it, baby. I'm already on schedule. If you like this video and you'd like to follow along on the adventure. Subscribe to my channel. Perhaps like this video. I don't know. Also, watch this video that I made on camping on a scooter. It's informative and um, it's pretty funny. So, bye. See you next time.